and welcome you watching a Friday edition of E-News Bulletin of IPR Department with me, Chiring Eden. Let's look at some of the top stories making headlines. Chief Minister Sri Prem Singh Tamang on Thursday announced the provision of home child care facilities for female employees of the state government after completion of their one-year maternity leave as a part of the state government's initiative to improve the fertility rate in Sikkim. In addition to the one-year maternity leave granted to all government women employees, the state government will now provide child care aid to women employees through child care assistance for another year to ease their return to work. The Chief Minister said that women and widows above the age of 40 and those who belong to economically backward sections will be appointed exclusively to deliver child care services at the working mother's residence for a year. The Chief Minister made this announcement during the state-level pre-Sonam Lochar Celebration 2023 organized by Sikkim Tamang Buddhist Association at Saram Sakadan in Ranipul. Addressing the gathering, the Chief Minister expressed concern over the declining fertility rate in the state and shared that the provision of home-based child care facility is to aid working mothers who have active participation in the state workforce. However, the child care assistant will not cater to other household chores, he added. He further recapitulated a slew of financial and medical support extended to state government employees, including the recent announced increment for employees with uh, two children and a double increment for those with more than two children. He also added that a committee has been formed to review the restoration of the old pension scheme in place of the new pension scheme. The Chief Minister was accompanied by Srimati Sarda Tamang, SLA Speaker Arun Uprati, MP Lok Sabha, Cabinet Ministers, MLA's Advisors, Chairpersons, Dharma Gurus from various monasteries, STBA members and representatives of diverse communities of the state. On Thursday, the first Damai Sarki Kami Sikkim Maha Utsav 2023 was celebrated at the playground of Mahatma Sri Junga Government Senior Secondary School Barmek Martha. Minister Agriculture Kam Area MLA Gelsing Barmek Constituency Loknath Sharma was the chief guest of the program. He was accompanied by Minister UDHT LV Das, Advisor Admiral Husbandry and Veterinary Services SBS Chairman, Chairman PHE, Chairman Sikkim Milk Union, and other dignitaries. DC Soreng, members of Sikkim Scheduled Caste Welfare Association, officials, panchayats and the public were also present. Minister Sharma in his address termed the day-long celebration a historic event that advocated for equality and expression, giving a platform to celebrate different cultures without any disparity. Informed about various state government initiatives and assistance for the community and various other development works in the constituency. Ministers Ellen Sharma and Elvi Das were facilitated by the organizing committee for their contributions. Former ministers Arjun Kumar Ghatani, B.M. Ramu Damu and former MLA D.B. Thatal were also felicitated by the committee. Many others were also felicitated for their valuable contributions in different fields. A press release from Health and Family Welfare Department informs that a two days a national level workshop on Ayushman Bharat School Health and Wellness Program was held on 17th and 18th of January in New Delhi. The workshop organized by Rashtriya Bal Swasthya Karikram, Division of Ministry of Health, Government of India, was attended by State Nodal Officer, North District Nodal Officer, Rashtriya Bal Swasthya Karikram, Health and Family Welfare Department, along with Director of Education and Coordinator, Population Education Cell, SCERT Gangtok. In the program, Sikkim was awarded one of the best performing states in Aishman Bharat School Health and Wellness Program for achieving 100% coverage. Under the program, 760 teachers, two from each of the 380 schools across the state above the junior grade, are designated as health and wellness ambassadors. They were trained online during the COVID-19 pandemic to transact with school children about health promotion and disease prevention. And these teachers have been taking the sessions since then. School Health and Wellness Program is jointly implemented by Health and Family Welfare Department, Education Department and SCERT. 
Chairman Namchi Municipal Council Ganesh Rai flagged off the pipe band contingent of Namchi Girls Senior Secondary School to New Delhi today. The contingent set out to attend the national level pipe band competition 2022-23 to be held in New Delhi on 22nd of January as a part of national level Republic Day celebration. Director Samagra Shiksha Education Department, CEO NMC and various officers from Education Department, principal teachers and guardians were also present during the flag off ceremony. The contingent is escorted by principal and teachers of Namchi's Girls Senior Secondary School. The school was selected as a winner during the district level competition organized by Samagra Shiksha Education Department. Similarly, Pipe Band of Soaring Senior Secondary School will also be participating in the national level competition scheduled to be held at National War Memorial, New Delhi on 21st of January as part of the Republic Day Celebration 2023. That's all we have for today. Please like and follow our Facebook page that is the Government of Sikkim official page for the most authentic news and information on recent developments in the government and the state. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you.